Uh, we got an M16. I think we'll be fine up there. Hopefully I don't, you know, regret those words a few seconds from now. Oh, come on. I forgot how long this takes to reload without all the attachments. We should have put a blueprint on this. Oh, no. Yep. I, I regret. I regret. Yep. 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 We did not make the smartest choices here. Let's go buy a quick revive. Oh, uh, yeah. No, we're going to go down. God dang it. God dang it. God dang it. Uh, if we get out of this, if we get out. No way. That should have been a down. I don't know how we survived that. Knife. 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 I, I don't know. I still don't think out of all the zombie games we've got, I don't think this is the easiest zombies experience ever. I think. All right. And welcome back, guys. We are here today to answer a few questions. The main one being is how easy is it currently to get to round 100 in Cold War Zombies? How does it compare to Cold War Zombies at launch? And how does it kind of compare to other zombie games? And along the way, I want to be showing you what I'm doing to get to round 100, kind of the easiest and quickest way to do it. We're going to go ahead, load into D Machina. While I'm doing that, I've got to give a huge thanks to our video sponsor, Ace Defense. And just like that, we're now loaded on D Machina. You can see right above me, I've got a timer going. We're going to kind of have that just to keep it interesting. I'm not going to really be trying to get this done as quick as possible. I just want a rough estimate of how long it's going to take us to get to round 100 in the current meta. And you can see for our class setup here, we're using the E tool. And in my opinion, this is just the single best weapon for when you're going to round 100. Always want to spawn them with the E tool. And we're using Ring of Fire, and that's been, you know, the go-to field upgrade for getting to round 100 ever since the game launched. One thing that has changed, though, and isn't, you know, been the same way since launch, they have now introduced the Rampage Inducer. We actually tried making this video a week ago, but got a bunch of bugs. You know, I'm really glad they introduced the Rampage Inducer. It just makes starting off so much quicker on any Zombies map. Honestly, every single game I'm playing, even if I'm not using it all the way to round 20, and we are about to go down here, I pretty much use it at least for the starting four or five rounds, especially if you're using a melee weapon, you get the health back when you knife. So it's super efficient and wait, Wait, what was that? So we are about to find out how easy it is currently to get to round 100 in Cold War Zombies, but you know what is easy? The decision whether or not to download Ace Defender. Now, what is Ace Defender, you ask? Ace Defender is a high quality SPRG game with tower defense elements. Yes, you heard that right. A strategy role playing game with tower defense elements. Ace Defenders currently has 40 chapters. That's nearly 2000 overall levels you can play. I'm currently at the very end of chapter four with one level left. And once I beat that, I'm going to unlock this Tundra Guard hero that I can use. There are over 48 heroes in the game right now with new ones being added every other week. And on top of that, you can level all these up and add gear to them to make them even more powerful. With Ace Defender, there are so many different ways to play expeditions, trials, dungeons, and PVP if you're looking for that. And best of all, if you are new to Ace Defender, and use my link below and hit level 10, you get 1,500 gold, 700 diamonds, seven rare recruit fragments, 50 blue hero fragments, 50 rare random equipment fragments, and a legendary hero on top of that. I definitely wish I had my link below when I was starting out playing because that is a ton of stuff you get. So definitely make sure you check out the link below, give the game a go. And with that, let's go ahead and head back into game. All right, here we go. Start of round seven. I'm going to go ahead, turn off the rampage inducer. That way we're able to go through the map, turn on power, all that stuff. Uh, usually I'd wait longer on top of penthouse, but recently since I've started playing this more and more, I don't know. I don't like to wait too long because I really want to be able to buy my perks. And I know if you go into the dark ether, you're able to buy them all right away, but I'd rather just, you know, get it open. That way the wonder fizz machine spawns in as quick as possible. And I mean, it used to not matter what round I'd get it. Cause a lot of times I would just get on top of the iron lung, but you can clearly see that they no longer let you do that. They have nerfed that strat. So I want to be able to get the Wonder Fizz as quick as possible. All right, here we go. Pack-a-punch is now open. Let's go ahead, put Shatter Blast on our E-Tool. I'm not going to pack it because I want to have money to buy the box. Because the first thing I do, I'm not going to buy any perks till after the box moved. Because the hardest part about getting to round 100 on this map is getting the stupid Ray Gun. And the best way to get the Ray Gun is to buy the box until you move the box. That way you can start to get fire sales. And it's not even here. And if we spend money on upgrading the e-tool, spend money on buying perks right now, that'd be less money that we could spend towards moving the box. Hopefully, watch us get it first hit. Come on, game. Just do something special for us this one time, please. No, nope. I'll take the M16, though. That's not bad at all. And there we go. Got a teddy bear. That way we can finally start getting some fire sales. And for right now, I'm just going to go on top of Penthouse and just sit up there. Actually, we'll reactivate the Rampage Inducer. Uh, we got an M16. I think we'll be fine up there. Hopefully, I don't, you know, regret those words a few seconds from now. Oh, come on. I forgot how long this takes to reload without all the attachments. We should have put a blueprint on this. Oh, no. Yep. I, I regret. I regret. Yep. 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 Uh, we should have put a blueprint on that because that was a slow reloading M16. And we... Uh, oh, wait. We don't have a quick revive. Dude, if we... We did not make the smartest choices here. Let's go buy a quick revive. Oh, no. Right up in our face. Holy crap. Ooh, Insta? Insta? 
Oh, freaking clutch insta kill. All right, hopefully this helps us take out these stupid megatons because we accidentally wasted our ring of fire. And we've been struggling a little bit ever since then. Oh, come on, come on. Oh my God, dude, the reload on this thing is going to absolutely kill me. All right, let's apply a blueprint. Hopefully we don't get a blueprint bog. If you guys watched the last video, you know the blueprint bog absolutely screwed us and pretty much made us struggle the entire... That's not the right blueprint. That... Uh... That's, that's not it, is it? There we go. All right, took a few tries. So uh, yeah, the blueprint bug's still in the game. It doesn't happen as often, but uh, yeah, it's, it's not been completely fixed. All right, here we go. Fire sale number one here. Last time we also got super unlucky and it was like 30 plus rounds till we actually, it was like round 50 till we got it. And uh, you know, I didn't really think this through. We got a rampage inducer on. Probably not the best to be trying to hit the box with the Rampage Inducer, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, this is this is not a good... I want my M16 back at least. Oh my god, another Megaton already! Alright, it's round 14. Usually I don't pack a punch until, you know, the Aether Portal shows up that we can take down here. But uh, it is way too hectic with this Rampage Inducer. We're gonna have to go pack this, or we are going to end up going down up there. So let's pack it, and we'll put on the toxic elemental damage because it's really our only choice since we're using this variant oh my this is so chaotic on round 16 with the rampage inducer dude i need perks oh it's fine oh fi uh, fire seller perks uh just give me some perks give me some perks all right let's go take uh ooh, and insta kill perfect 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 uh yeah i started to talk for that clip there and it just gave us everything come on ray gun ray gun ray gun uh we only have tier one armor we're gonna go down god dang it yep this is a down this is for sure a down Oh no, we don't have a self. We don't have a self. We don't have a self. Um, yep. Uh, so let's go buy quick revive back because let's not lose this uh, on round 19. You know, right before the rampage inducer goes away. We've got a pretty good setup going here. Uh, we need to buy armor is what we need to do. And that's the great part about the e-tool. See, we went down here. Always pull out the e-tool when you go down. You run a lot faster with the e-tool than what you do with any other weapon in the game. So, uh, yeah, E-Tool is definitely the move. Oh, Black Hole Grenade to the rescue because we're out of ammo. Do we risk it? Do we risk it? Screw it. We'll go in it. What the? Yeah, that is probably the farthest I've ever been teleported with one of these grenades. If I ever use those on Malward or Toten, we're actually using it on stream earlier. On Malward or Toten, it takes me like two feet away. On this map, though, it just teleported me across the map. So I don't know if it's just Mauer or Toten that it doesn't work on, but it works fine for me on the other map. Oh, that's... Uh, no, 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 no. And just like that, the Rampage Inducer has now been turned off. Uh, wow, 21 rounds in under 20 minutes. That's pretty ridiculous. That definitely would not be possible, period, without the Rampage Inducer. But uh, that's... That's crazy, dude. It honestly boggles my mind how game-changing the Rampage Inducer is. I don't think it's going to be in Cold War at launch, or I don't think it's going to be in Vanguard at launch just for the simple fact of it kind of breaks balancing in terms of grinding stuff because anything you can grind gets a thousand times easier if you can speed run the first 20 rounds. But hopefully towards the end of Vanguard's life cycle, they add something like the Rampage Inducer because I love it in Cold War and I'm going to get so much freaking use out of this thing. Oh, uh, yeah. No, we're going to go down. God dang it. God dang it. God dang it. Uh... If we get out of this, if we get out, no way, that should have been a down. I don't know how we survived that. It is probably time we go pack a punch our M16 again, because that M16 was doing nothing against that Megaton. And once again, I I don't know how I got out of that situation. That was should have been a down. The stars just aligned for it. Oh, we don't have the points anymore. Well, never mind. I guess we'll stay down here for a second, because I don't even, can we at least get it to, you know, maybe purple tier? No. Oh, all right. Uh, well, let's buy armor at minimum. So it's not a complete waste for why we came down here. All right, so we're not gonna pack a punch after all. Let's go ahead, buy ammo, and let's please, for the love of God, just get Mule Kick real quick. I keep meaning to buy Mule Kick, I forgot. That's one thing I love about Cold War, is the fact that the perks that they've been adding, you know, on future maps, you get to use on all maps because of the Wonder Fizz machine. We get to use Mule Kick, which one, makes this strat so much easier, because now you can get ammo drops. Please, please, there we go. Oh, there's another one, god dang it, hold on. There we go. There we go. So now you can get ammo drops like crazy using Mule Kick. You can use three weapons. You can use all the benefits from Mule Kick and even Death Perception. I love seeing the enemy outlines through walls. 
And I don't know, I wish this was in previous zombie games. I love the fact that when they're adding new perks into this game, it gives you new ways to explore and play the older map. So every time they add a new perk, you would experience it, you know, on every map in this game. And it, it does, it adds more replayability to the older maps, which is something we didn't see in previous CODs. And I'm sure they'll continue that with Vanguard. And I'm just really glad that's something we get to do now. Oh, sweet, giving me a free self-revive, I'll take that. Uh, yeah. Oh no, oh no, it's round 32. Still haven't pack-a-punched the uh, M16. It's still tier one pack. And uh, starting to regret that. Yeah, probably should have packed it. Ooh, fire sale though. But uh, yeah, it's, it's taken way too long to kill anything on round 32. Come on, give us a ray gun. Nope. Uh, we'll just go over to this box. Cause there's too many zombies in the way. But I think it's about time we should go ahead and upgrade the M16 a little bit more. One thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and get the flamethrower because that would have solved us in that situation. I'm so glad they added the flamethrower. And this is another thing. We're talking about how all the perks have made it easier to get to round 100. Oh, well, we don't have any salvage. We just max upgraded our weapon. So unfortunately we can't. But I mean, on top of that, they have, they've also added the flamethrower in the game, which is massive. That to me is so much better than the war machine, especially for trying to get to round 1000 or 100. We're not going to 1000 this game. We're going to uh, 100, um, but all this stuff like that. And they did lower the health cap uh, at season four reloaded season. Season four loaded. They took the health cap from 160,000 and lowered it, or 120,000 and lowered it to half of that being 60,000 at round 55, which is a massive difference. Like it is so much different. The zombies have half the health, even though they cut it in half. Right now, zombies at the current stage in the game have double the amount of health what they had at launch. At launch, the max zombies health was 30,000, which is a very little amount of health. But I still think it's probably easier in this version. Now that we've got all these tier five upgrades, we've got the weapon buff, which makes it so weapons are now doing more damage per headshots. We've got all these perks like mule kick, uh, death perception, which helps us do more armor damage in high rounds. I think all these things in combination, even though the zombies have double the health, I think it's easier to get to round 100 in the game's current state. Come on, come on, come on. one more hit, one more hit, one more hit. Yes! No! Oh, and we're going to go down for it. Was it worth it? No. Whoa. Ha <laughs> ha. No, we're not. Stars aligned for us there again. All right. It's round 40. The box is right here. I'm going to just start hitting the box. Usually I wait for fire sales, but every time I record a video about how easy it is to get to round 100, the game just doesn't like to give me the ray gun and we struggle using fire sales. So we're just going to try to get it manually real quick in between rounds. And we're getting a lot of uh, garbage weapons. No, no, thank you. Uh, I mean, the best thing about this is honestly, even if we never get the ray gun, we can still get to round 100. As you saw by our last video, we managed to do it with the FFAR, which is a pretty good weapon, but the M16 still does more damage and it's still just a better weapon than the FFAR overall. So if we have to, yes, we'll get to round 100 only using the M16, but uh, no, I definitely don't want to. I would really like to get the ray gun, you know, sit back, relax, grind a few rounds here be a little bit less intentive but uh for now it looks like uh it's in 16 time yep so things are getting a little bit hectic but good thing got a flamethrower although flamethrowers don't do a lot to megatons unfortunately unless you have an insta kill the only reason we killed it so quickly it's really good against panzers and other stuff like that but megatons usually i try to wait for a ring of fire but the box is now directly underneath us so at the end of every round we're gonna try a few hits trying to get this dumb ray gun oh my god there needs to be a better way to get the ray gun instead of just buying it from the dumb box every time i try to get it from the box it's just an absolute nightmare we're probably close to 150 to 200 box hits this run like i have bought the box a crap ton this game already and uh, we are no closer to getting the ray gun than what we were earlier. Yeah, at this point, I'm just going to start editing these clips out of the video because I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me complain about not getting the ray gun for half an hour every time. Oh, no, no. Uh, well, yeah, we lost the E-tool, so that's disappointing. Great. And I was too busy complaining and uh, I watched our E-tool disappear in front of our eyes and we just maxed that out too. God dang it. Knife, knife 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 and oh and here we go round 55 this is the current health cap of zombies so past this point zombies aren't going to get any more health they're going to get a little bit faster 
but um not enough where it's really gonna matter on top of penthouse like i said we can stay up here till round 60 with his m or till round 100 with his m60 if we want and 16 if we wanted to but uh, I'm hoping that we're going to get the ray gun maybe before round 60 game. Round 60, we can make a deal. Uh, just 40 rounds. I just want 40 rounds of the ray gun game. That's all I want. But uh, yeah, zombies are just going to get a little bit faster, making it just a tiny bit more difficult. But I mean, it, it'll be fine. Oh, oh, there we go, boys. Oh, finally, round 56. Thank you so much, game. This is all I wanted. Oh, thank you, 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 thank you. All right, easy. There's pack one, there's pack two, and there's pack three. Let's go give this baby a little bit of a whirl. Ah, oh, this is so much freaking better. This is going to speed up our time to round 100 so freaking much. All right, here we go. And just annihilate all the zombies. Just, just... Uh, oh, 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 and you know like how I say that and immediately we're going to down ourselves with the ray gun. I wonder if we're going to get PhD as the final perk in this game. I really hope so because uh, I'm irresponsible with explosives. If you ever see me play with the rocket launcher, the Sigma, the RPG, the ray gun, anything like that. Um, honestly, I, I sometimes can't control myself and we go down because, you know, splash damage. I just pretend like it doesn't exist and hope it goes away, which never seems to work for some reason. And here we are on round 69 and past this point, honestly, nothing really changes from this strat. I mean, you use the ray gun, you shoot the ray gun, the zombies die, uh, you rebuild your ring of fire, rinse and repeat. And as you can see, I mean, our, the kills we're getting are just racking up. This is still the single quickest way to get to round 100 in this entire game. I mean, look at how quickly we're killing the zombies as they spawn in. There's really nothing that beats this. So I'm, I'm surprised. I wonder if we'll get under two hours. I think we're on track. This might be my very first ever under two hour run for this. And I'm, I mean, we already got a ring of fire. Didn't even move. And I mean, it. that's it. This is all we're going to do. I pretty much started recording this clip at the beginning of round 69. We broke our armor. I like how I say how easy it is. And then immediately we lose all our armor and go down. Ooh, insta-kill. Noise, noise, noise. Wait till the beginning of the round to pick this up. All right, now here we are on round 80. We got about 20 minutes left before the two hour mark. I don't think we're gonna make it in time, but uh, I think I can safely say at this point in time that this is the easiest state Cold War's ever been in. Even though zombies have double the health what they had at the launch of the game, and the ray gun's been nerfed pretty severely, with the introduction of the new perks and how ridiculous Molotovs and Simtexes are, I mean, this is, I mean, you don't have to leave the spot anymore. You used to have to go down and buy ammo, do all this other stuff. But I mean, you can just fry through zombies and look, as soon as we run out of our ring of fire, throw a Molotov. Oh, wasn't enough. Pull out our flamethrower for two seconds. And here we go again. And I mean, you can just rinse and repeat every couple rounds, go down, buy a new flamethrower. It's not that far away. And I mean, it's pretty much smooth sailing once you get a ray gun. So that being, yeah, that was all of round 81. We started this at the beginning of round 81. It was that quick. Even with how quick that is, I, I doubt we make it by the, the two hour mark just because something's going to end up happening. I'm going to end up going down. We're going to waste a little bit of time. But I, I, I think it's safe to say, and I, I, I don't know. I, I think a lot of people would agree with me that even though zombies have more health, the Reagan's no longer as strong, that this is still easier than what Cold War is at launch just because of all the quality of life features and the fact that you don't even have to leave this spot. Wait for it, wait for it. Another C4. I mean, even if you're not getting, you know, I mean, you can pick up anything at the end of the round. We took two C4s there and completely recharged our ring of fire. And then we got an insta kill in front of us after this ring of fire runs out, but it takes two ring of fires to end the entire round, even like on round 83. It's really that easy. And here we are, round 99, home stretch. And yeah, it's a little bit over two hours. I don't know, we might try for a sub two hour run before Vanguard launches. It's obviously possible we've messed up quite a few times on this round. I've gone down a bunch of dumb deaths that really didn't need to happen. Um, because of that, obviously, when you go down, it slows you down because you gotta go buy, you know, a self revive, your perks back, armor, all that crap. But, uh, and we also struggled to get the ray gun to like round 50 ish. So it's definitely possible to get a sub two hour run. I'm pretty sure people even did it before the um, rampage inducer. But uh, overall, yeah, I think the more of the story right now, Cold War Zombies is easier than it has ever been. Ooh, and we got a Megaton here too. Uh, we might actually have to go down for this one. But is it the easiest zombies ever? I, I don't know. I still don't think out of all the zombie games we've got, I don't think this is the easiest zombies experience ever. I think Black Ops 3 
is probably the one zombies game that was a little bit easier than that. I know some people don't agree with me when I say that, but essentially all the tier upgrades in this game are essentially gobble gums. It's just they've made them free now where you don't, ooh, don't have to pay for the premium ones anymore. And if you compare this game to Black Ops 3 having unlimited gobble gums like the premium ones, Black Ops 3 was still way easier. And if you take away the gobble gums and you take away the tier upgrades, I'd say that Black Ops 3 oh, with no with no gobble gums and this game with no tier upgrades, I'd still say this game's probably harder. I mean, both games are very easy, but in my opinion, Black Ops 3 is just a little bit easier than this. Well, it's a lot easier if you include the gobble gums. Those round robins are freaking killer. You can go to round 100 just skipping all the rounds. But here we are. Round 100, we did it, and it is so much easier when the game's not working against you. The last run we did on this, uh, I don't even know how long it ended up taking, but it took for freaking ever. But yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Let me know what's your opinions. Do you think Cold War right now is easier than ever? And uh, do you think Cold War is the easiest zombies game we've ever got, or is it Black Ops 3? Because in my opinion, um, it's going to be Black Ops 3. And once again, huge thanks to Ace Defender for uh, sponsoring this video. I wouldn't be able to make nearly as much content as I did without amazing sponsors like them. So make sure you go in the description below, show that link some love, download the game, give it a shot. And uh, yeah, with that one, guys, I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I want to take the last moment here to thank everyone who became a YouTube member, our Twitch sub, and an extra special thanks to everyone who became an Unlock Plus Plus member on YouTube. We get the Legend Sergeant CJ, the e -tool Lawyer You Don't Cross Hoss, the DMCA Claim Waiting to Happen Snap, Hunter Redon. Doe, the man whose name should be really easy to pronounce, your master. The friend who always comes through, Drew, and then we have Luke.